Are you ready for this? 75 grams of carbohydrates can decrease testosterone levels in healthy men by up to 47%. That's almost halving your total testosterone levels just by consuming 75 grams of carbohydrates. What's up guys, my name is Lucas, the founder of Ergogenic Health. And in this video, what I'm gonna do is look at how carbohydrates affect male testosterone levels. And we'll dive deep into one particular study that really blew me away as far as some of the findings and how we can sort of link carbohydrate consumption with testosterone production. So this study here was titled abrupt decrease in serum testosterone levels in men after an oral glucose load implications for screening for hypogonadism. Now this study here was conducted in 2013 and we'll sort of dive deep into the parameters associated with this study. And I'm also going to really hope that we get a bit of a discussion going down below in the comments section. First of all, have you noticed a difference if you remove carbohydrates from your diet and how that affects your testosterone levels or your energy levels. If you have you know, seen a difference by completely removing carbohydrates, has it had a positive or a negative effect on your overall energy and vitality? Just drop a comment down below. Let's get a discussion going. So here's the study breakdown. Now, if we look at this particular study, there are some things I really want to highlight. It was a fairly small study. So there were only 74 men enrolled in this study, the mean age of about 51 years of age, and they underwent a standard 75 gram oral glucose tolerance test with blood sampling at the 30, 60, 90, and 120 minute mark after consumption. Now, fasting serum glucose, insulin, total testosterone, and calculated free testosterone, luteinizing hormone, sex hormone binding globulin, leptin, and cortisol were measured. 57% of the men in this particular study had normal glucose tolerance, 30% had impaired glucose tolerance, and 13% had newly diagnosed type 2 diabetes. Now, now, glucose ingestion, so we're talking about 75 grams of pure glucose, was associated with a 25% decrease in the mean testosterone levels. Now, testosterone levels remained suppressed at the 120 minute mark compared with baseline. Now, of the 66 men with normal testosterone levels at baseline, 10 had levels that decreased to the hypogonadal range at one or more time points. Now, interestingly, the sex hormone binding globulin, luteinizing hormone, and cortisol levels were unchanged during this experiment. So I really want to critique this particular study and also highlight some of my personal experimentations with manipulating carbohydrates and testosterone. One thing we need to really highlight in this particular study is who actually consumes pure sugar in one sitting without any fats, fiber, or protein. So is a 75 gram sugar drink highly representative of the, I guess, like the biohacker community or those that are always dialing in their health and performance? To me, it's quite rare. I mean, I know there's gonna be a lot of you that think that it is highly representative of the population, but this would only be for those that are you know, consuming just sugary energy drinks, or for example, just um, soft drinks or sugar sweetened beverages on a daily basis. One thing I really want to highlight here is how realistic is this particular study? Obviously it was completed in humans and that is really important to see human clinical data. But what I wanna share is my subjective experience which actually tends to be the opposite, particularly from fruits, honey, maple syrup, oats, even sometimes white rice. See, my response, particularly if I go on a strict keto or carnivore diet for about two to three days, I really notice a reduction in morning wood, my libido starts to tank, my sex drive is not as good, and I generally feel less energetic. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Let's get a discussion going. How do you respond to the carnivore diet or keto diet versus if you were to increase your carbohydrates to around my level, which is about 350 to 400 grams of carbs per day. Now, as I mentioned, what was really interesting was that there was no changes in the sex hormone binding globulin in this particular study. But what they did notice was a decrease in free testosterone levels, which is really interesting. What I also want to 
highlight are some of the benefits of actually consuming carbohydrates. Number one is I personally believe that carbohydrates uh, can support and enhance thyroid function by fueling the liver to convert T4 to T3. I absolutely noticed the athletic performance benefits of carbohydrates. And I also noticed the massive benefits associated with reducing stress, adrenaline, and cortisol when I have a high carbohydrate diet. How can we as men shield the body from very high carbohydrate meals? The whole purpose of this is to sort of outline a bit of a protocol or strategy that men can deploy as far as blunting some of the damaging effects of a high carb meal. Number one, and first and foremost, the most important thing is to walk after each meal. And that can be just a 15 minute, you know, moderate intensity walk, low level intensity walk, which has been shown to lower that postprandial glucose spike very potently. In addition, what I like to also do is to use dihydroberberine prior to my meal. So this is an advanced form of berberine, what I believe to be the best form of berberine on the market, dihydroberberine. You'll see that linked down below in the video description if you want to purchase dihydroberberine. That particular compound is very potent at lowering blood sugar levels and also enhancing glucose uptake into skeletal muscle cells, which would enhance athletic performance and pumps in the gym. So definitely check out that dihydroberberine linked in the video description down below. And then the other strategy that we can utilize is by having apple cider vinegar before our meal. Now, just one point to notice with apple cider vinegar, make sure you're consuming apple cider vinegar diluted in water using a straw or minimizing the contact that it has with the enamel on your teeth as apple cider vinegar can actually damage the enamel found or well, the enamel surrounding your teeth. Here's some final dangers of high blood sugar that men need to be aware of. We know that high blood sugar levels can damage blood vessels. It can cause issues with vasodilation, affecting endothelial function, and it can facilitate and exacerbate leaky gut, and it can cause gut microbiota dysbiosis. It can affect the liver and affect non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And then we can also see damage to the pancreas as well. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about testosterone optimization, be sure to go and binge on all of my other videos on this channel related to testosterone. And if you're a guy looking to optimize your testosterone levels naturally, I encourage you to join my free testosterone optimization training that will be linked down below in the video description. And if you do want to purchase that dihydroberberine, the GDA, the glucose disposal agent that I was mentioning, you'll see that linked down below as well in the video description. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.